What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, IG Beef. Let me know we back again with another video, y'all. As y'all can see by today's title, Michi finally responds to Carmen slash having a new boo, y'all. If y'all new, please make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Run it up for your boy, you feel me? And we just gonna jump straight into the video. We ain't gonna do too much talking. So recently, I reported on Carmen allegedly having a new boo by the name of B Dot. Now he was at her boo camp, but he wasn't auditioning. He was actually at the table with her. Now he was also caught rubbing her feet while they. Now that's crazy. Rubbing her feet while other niggas just trying to audition for her is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Like, literally sitting there rubbing her feet while other niggas is in front of her talking to her, bro. This nigga don't give a fuck. They were sitting down at that table. Now, Prime actually reacted to that video. This is what he had to say about the situation. Even stated that Michi was sitting around hurt behind this whole... Am I the only one who... Always be lonely around Valentine's Day. Nah, fam, you ain't gonna be the one that's you ain't you ain't the only one, my nigga. So I me, mean, you ain't the only one, bro. I'm I'm gonna be lonely Valentine's Day too, but no homo, no type shit, no weird shit. But yeah, I'm gonna be lonely Valentine's Day. You from matter of fact, Valentine's Day I got caught. So yeah, <laughs> niggas is really gonna be yeah. But yeah, we we gonna see how that goes. But we go we gonna continue the video. I ain't gonna speak too much on that. Situation. It's happening though. What am I looking at? No. Carmen is OC. But then it was rubbing on the dogs, fool. He was rubbing on the feet, fool. No, no, look at him. No, you think he OC? Look, look at him. No, he OC. He yeah. got plenty bitches. No, 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 he OC. He took a lot of bitches. If we tap. Full, vic time. full victory is OC, y'all. Hey, look, victory Ooh. is expensive as shit, bro. It meets y'all here doing this sad shit, man. Nah, fool, that's OC. I ain't gonna lie. No more of that sad I, shit I, around I, me. I, I ain't gonna hold Hey, it. I ain't gonna lie. No, no, no. No more of that sad shit around me, fool. Yeah, nah, it's over with now. No, it's over with. Fool, no. I don't wanna hear that no, shit. No, me man. seeing Carmen Instagram, like, that's from her page. That means that got posted on her shit. It won't mean no disrespect to nobody, bro. We just having fun and shit. Y'all get y'all yeah. content. I get we get uh, like yeah. No disrespect. We ain't yeah. We ain't look. We ain't hate on nobody. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't nobody, on nobody, bro. Nobody like it just Son? it just yeah. funny though. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like, OC. You ain't got to take it in no negative way. Yeah, man, your fact, yeah. Nah. Yeah, like, nah. Yeah. It, 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 it. Nah, but y'all think Carmen's Loki splurging? I think she's Loki a splurge, but I mean like. Her and Michi didn't put a title on when, you know, they they were on the internet and all that type of shit, but you feel me? Some people, they just throw a title without mentioning to the other people, which that's where people go wrong in a relationship, putting a title without letting the other person know how you feel. So, what, is that what he did? I'm not him, I can't speak for him, but shit. Most people do that, and that shit be getting me tight when people be doing that shit to me. I'm just like, bro, there's no title. But for her, like, if y'all seen her video, she was talking about how um, Michi was just a good-ass friend, bro. That's crazy. A friend I never had in a long, long, long time is exactly what she quoted. But, like, still, bro, like, you kissing all up on the nigga, you, you competing for the nigga, that don't look like no friendship to me, if you ask me. From an outsider. It, it's, it's not that deep, bro. Yeah, Carmen, don't get your feelings. I know you be watching the witch callers, but, you know, we just, you know, I call her, I see, I'm the realest of the realest knowing this shit. I just call her, I see. Like, yeah, bro. Like I said. funny, like, yeah, no cap, it, bro. bro, right here, I don't know you personally, but kudos to you, yeah, my nigga. Go up. So in my previous video, I also told you guys that B-Dot posted Carmen on his TikTok as well, stating, is that your wife, wife, wife? I think I like her, like her, like her. Now, I don't know what happened to this TikTok, but it was taken down. Maybe Carmen told him that it was a bit inappropriate. But now Corey is speaking out again after he already dropped that hour-long video exposing Carmen. Now, that's crazy. Dropping an hour video to expose somebody is crazy, bro. Like, just think about that shit, bro. Like, you gotta be a bored-ass nigga or a female to sit in front of the camera and just bash someone for one hour straight. 
Like, you really, like, just sit there and bash a nigga or a female for an hour straight is OC. Now, that's what you really call OC, bro. That's OC. For some of the things that were done while they were in a relationship, well, now he has spoke out after he dropped his album, Letter to My Ex, which people are comparing him to Chris Sales. He goes on to state, Now that I got that off my chest, I feel so relieved. No one know my story as clear as I... Nah, that's crazy for him to come out here, drop a whole album after he dissed the female, called her Evercare, <laughs> went all a splurge on her, and then goes out on his Instagram writing a whole essay, bro. Like, it's crazy how she's so unbothered by this. Like, this man is going all out trying to make her crash out. Once again, he's really trying to make her crash out. But she has not responded to any of these allegations, which is good on her end. But again, it's like, damn, how far is this nigga willing to go just to prove a certain point? I do. I understand you guys have watched my life for years, but trust me, man, it's so much y'all don't know. I'm sharing my story. Judge me all you want. Look in the mirror and ask yourself, who is you to judge? I've made my mistakes ish matter of fact i won't call them mistakes i'll call them bad choices it's called growth right say check this out i'm gonna remain true to who i am and serve my purpose which is to impact lives through my experience from yahweh i love y'all no hatred in my heart i want y'all to win watch my videos look at all my posts look at what i've done for the people over these years who am i really to lol that person don't matter, huh? I'm shadowed by the hatred. Ask yourself, what Corey do to you? Don't judge me off my personal life because I defend myself and voice my story as I'm... Nah, not gonna lie. He's right. We can't all just judge him based off, you know, his life, whatever. Cool. People are gonna judge you based off what you present on the internet and how you present it. You feel me? Now, we all can present his situation in a million other ways. But he went about it in his way, the way that he felt more comfortable of putting it out. So that's how people are going to view you. The way you put things out and what you say about a certain group of persons, you feel me? People are going to view you that way because it's like, all right, now niggas are going to start judging you because there's ways that you could put out information for people to, you know, grasp at than the way he's going about it. But again, that's just how he feels comfortable going about it. Everybody's different. I'm a public figure. Also, it's one of my sources of income that I'm very great at using and willing to teach y'all how to. I'm back. I feel free. And it's been seven damn years. Since 18, I've been married. And I don't give a F what nobody got to say. Y'all ain't finna tell me how the F I feel after finding out after seven years this woman knew from the beginning her story was a lie to me. That ish hurt. Now, I wasn't the best damn husband, but I damn sure grew after every bad situation I caused. I'm the reason. I'm the man. I am today and still have growth, he says. If you gotta judge me off emotions and not for who I really am, I don't want your support. Promise you don't gotta click on my page. Now, obviously, Corey just put out that hour-long video as promo for the album that he dropped. Now, if you guys watched the video, he was including songs. Now, nah, that's crazy. An hour promo of dissing somebody is crazy. That's crazy. An hour-long video of you bashing your baby mama for promo? <laughs> that's OC. That is OC, bro. That's real OC. Songs in and throughout every question. Then he drops the album today. So you guys see exactly what went on there. He wants his story out. That's his story. Hopefully that's the end of it. And he got everything off his chest like he stated. And he feels relieved. So anyways, you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. But let's... But um, what's your intake based on the whole Michi situation, y'all? Honestly, me personally looking from an outsider in... I feel bad for the nigga. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I guess she said whatever they had on the internet was just a friendship. So if you're competing for somebody's love, fucking with somebody, you feel me? You, 
going on dates and all, y'all, it's a friendship in 2024. It's no relationship. It's straight friendship. Remember that. Now, on another hand, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I didn't, I've been dropping shorts daily, y'all, so please tune in. I, I have been dropping shorts, and y'all been asking for that, so I've been dropping shorts. Please tune in. Please subscribe. Watch the videos, and I'm going to catch y'all. I do be sure I'm out.